Good morning, Aloha from Florida. So I have a friend whose family used to work for NASA back in the day, and he has a really hard time with Flat Earth. He has a really hard time admitting the fact that NASA is fraudulent and they fake space. He has a really hard time, and he's a smart guy, except for when it comes to his indoctrination, which has made him stupid or dumb. It's amazing, the people who have worked with the government or closely with the government or those who have been indoctrinated by the government schools over a period of time, like I have another friend who's been a teacher for 25 years, and it seems to me that working for the government for 25 years has made him a dumbass. Like he can't think for himself. He cannot consider things that contradict his belief system about the earth. And he's a science teacher, and he teaches about the earth. <laughs> so anyway, Here's the deal one more time. Water. Water here, water there, water everywhere. And my first friend I was talking about, he always says, oh, you just don't understand scale. That's always his argument. Scale, you just don't know how big the earth is. It's scale, scale. I think I have a pretty good understanding or grasp of what scale is. In fact, let's talk about water and scale for a minute. If you fill up a bathtub with water, is the surface of that water level? Yes. How about a swimming pool? Is the surface of a swimming pool, is that water level? Yes. How about a pond? Is the surface of that water level? Yes, I have a large pond in my front yard. How about a large lake? Is the surface of that water level? Yes. So the natural physics of a large body of water debunks the entire heliocentric hypothesis. Now let's go bigger on the scale. An ocean is the surface of an ocean level yes see what we are taught to believe by the government schools or the government indoctrination camps the government scriptures which are false what we're taught to believe is that at some magic scale at some magic level the waters stop being level and they start curving Water does not show convexity on its surface, not when it's in a large body. The only convexity you can see on water is in a water droplet because of surface tension. So my, fr my friend, what scale does the physics of water stop being true? At what scale of the earth does some magic happen where physics no longer applies? I mean, Occam's razor, think about it. If water is flat and level in a bathtub, in a pool, in a pond, in a lake, water is also level on an ocean. It doesn't bend. Water does not bend. It does not display convexity on its surface. And the real kicker is that much of the land above the oceans and much of the land beneath the oceans is perfectly flat or level for hundreds of miles at the time, which would be completely impossible if the earth were a sphere. This is a repetition. This is me doing this again and again and again. Maybe for those of you who are new uh, to me or new to flat earth, the natural physics of a large body of water completely debunks the globe. What we observe with much of the land above the oceans and beneath the oceans, what we can measure above the oceans and beneath the oceans, like the state of Kansas or the Bolivian salt flats or the Great Plains of Australia or any of the savannas, what we can observe and measure is the land being flat. The abyssal plains, I forget how many hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of square miles of perfectly level flatness on the land beneath the oceans, confirmed by people who navigate submarines, telling us that they never have to nose the submarine down to stay at the same depth over the surface of the earth because the surface of the earth is not curved. There can be top topography. That's why I call the earth an enclosed electrical topographical stationary plane. And for those of you who know that there is some kind of life force or spirit or God or creator or creators, plural, um, I will call it an intelligently designed enclosed electrical topographical stationary plane. So there we have it. Once again, water debunks the entire heliocentric hypothesis. Have a good day and God bless you.